So here we have the Toyota Yaris on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. On the right-hand side, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge. And then in the middle, the total miles of the car, they are 8,431. We have a digital readout for the speedometer above that. You can change the information that's displayed there by using buttons on the steering wheel. If we back out to the steering wheel, the button I was using just a second ago is over on the right-hand side, beneath which we have cruise control for the car. Over on the left-hand side, we have the stereo controls. Uh, you can then find the main stereo over in the center just here. So this is all touchscreen. Uh, you can access your music from here. You'll see we have AM, FM, and DAB radio. Bluetooth audio, if we skip to the next screen, iPod and USB input as well. Uh, so loads of ways to listen to your music in this car. You can pair your uh, phone from hitting this button just here. We're not going to pair that just yet. And then if I put the vehicle in reverse, you could also see that along with those parking sensors, we have a full color reversing camera as well. Below that, we then have our air conditioning for the car. So you can adjust uh, the temperature with this dial, fan speed with the one in the middle just here. You can determine whether you're bringing in fresh air from outside the car or recirculating the air that's in it. That is a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set over here. And you can move that whenever you wish to. And then over on the left-hand side, we can determine where we'd like the air to be distributed once it enters the car. And then the air conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off or back on again. Underneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket. We have our USB input underneath this cap just here. And then we have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. Along with that, you're able to put the gearbox into sport mode and you can turn the traction control on and off for the car as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.